You ready to go? Yep. Ready to go. <laughs> Did I catch you off guard a little yeah. bit? <laughs> What up guys? Welcome back to another magnet fishing video and me and dad are out here yet again. That was a city park employee. He's probably like, what are they doing filming here? But today the weather is so much warmer, so much nicer than the last video we did. If you guys were here on the last one, yeah, we were out on a big lake. It was windy and it was cold. But today we are in the middle of a big, big city, Wichita, Kansas to be exact, and we're at a public park. Just like the last video I told you, Dad got something. He got this new fishing rig here. Check this out. Lowell double rig action. These are twin 600 pound pole side pole magnets. And isn't that thing just special? Maybe. Well, it looks as though <laughs> the city park employees are probably wondering what we're doing. But nonetheless, we do have the double rig like this. I told y'all be expecting something wild, something different. And this bad boy, actually dad got it off Amazon. If you want to pick one of these up, I will link it down in the description below. I don't know what to think about this. I think that uh, I'll be able to cover some ground with it pretty easily. Uh, I think it will work pretty good for this bridge situation because this bridge is pretty darn long. So I'm just going to be able to walk and drag this thing. Enough talking. Let's get down to this bridge and check it out. Well, we're getting trolled on pretty hard already by the old park employees. I don't know if they like us or not. So we came up here to read the rules. It says no wading or swimming allowed. You know, no alcoholic beverages, no motorized scooters. It doesn't say no fishing, but at the end here, it's got this wild little rule. Rules can be added as needed. Well, I'm gonna, I guess we'll see if they uh, add the rule of no magnet fishing after they see us out here tossing this big old freaking 20 pound thing around. This thing's huge. Yeah. Literally, that, that, if this thing don't catch anything, I might just hang it up. This might just be it. I'm, I'm just. <laughs> 1,200 pound pull. Yeah, it's 1,200 pound altogether. 600 pound a piece. Huh? Are all of them banded? A lot of these city park birds are banded. Look at old, look at old Bandy over there. Uh huh. Old Honk Daddy got a band on him. I am telling you what, here in Wichita, there are so many banded honkers, it's crazy. Well, here we are. This is the bridge that I was talking about. This is really our only option at this park. There are no fishing docks whatsoever. Think we're going to have any luck here. Well, a little change of plans here. Yeah, the bridge deal didn't work out. It was brand new. The water was literally only a foot deep and you could see the bottom. So, brand new construction's not always the best. So we're at a different city park now and the gnats here are crazy. How are this many gnats out already? But check it out. We actually found us an aluminum dock here to work with. Much, much better than the bridge. You guys know, docks is where it's at. Docks is where people get over the water, spend their time at, get a little tipsy, and lose their fishing poles. Well, Dad's already in the water. I got the double rig of McGee. We got mallards flying everywhere, boys. I'm gonna uh, throw her in right here. Let's hope we don't lose this double, this double O rig here. I'm telling you, that's a lot of magnet down there. But what's nice is you can just drag this puppy. I know that last magnet that I tried that y'all seen on the last video, that thing was only like five, it actually was like 330 pound pull. This has double 600s on it, so it should do a little better yet than that other one I tried. Let's pull her up and see if we got anything here. Oh, look at that. We got us a bottle cap, first find of the day. See what it is? Can't tell. It's just black. Okay. As you can tell, I got this, I mean, heavy rope on here. This is what I use for my thousand pound magnet. And let me tell you what, you know how heavy this rope is? Isn't it like 500 pounds or a thousand or something? It's heavy. It's between eight and a thousand. Yeah, it's like 800 to a thousand pound pull 
rope so if we ever get this double rig stuck on anything I should be able to yank it out pretty hard just dragging her along trying to get it up underneath the dock a little bit but you actually have to drag this thing really slow or else you tend to pick it up off the bottom and it's not making good contact that's why I'm, I'm kind of leery about these side pull magnets. I don't know if there's enough surface area on one spot for long enough, if that makes any sense at all. Let's check her out here. Absolutely nothing on the old double rig. Well, we got a bottle cap so far. I'd say we've just found all the treasure that we need. Nothing, huh? Nothing. I'm afraid None. this dock might just be new and it's new. I don't know. Still nothing, huh? Nothing. Boy, howdy. I did want to have to do this with the double rig, but I don't think we have a choice. <laughs> that was heavy. Yo, it's like a it's like a ton of bricks getting thrown out there. Oh well. No luck on that dock. Man, I'm telling you, these magnification videos like this, trying to get good ones for y'all. I mean, we are really driving. Probably took us about, I mean, right out an hour to get here uh, from home. So now we're probably going to make another 30 minute journey to another one. Possibly another 30 minute journey after that to another spot. So, we're giving it our all out here, guys. I know we haven't caught anything crazy yet today. But if you guys appreciate the effort of me and dad, I'm telling you, this isn't easy finding good spots. Give us both a big old thumbs up right now. Showing up to a city park near you. Seems like that's what we're doing today. I'm using OnX Maps, uh, not Google Maps today, but my OnX, the, the app that I use for hunting, uh, it actually shows all the public fisheries. Uh, so that's what I'm doing today, and it's leading me to crazy little places like this that I've never been in my life. Check this out though, a city park pond here. We got a fountain and this looks pretty deep. Looking pretty juicy so far. It's a pretty small dock, but since it's a city park, I bet you this has been here forever. I'm putting down the camera and we're getting after it before we get kicked out. <laughs> well, here we go. There's somebody sitting up in this gazebo right over here. They're probably gonna be like, what in the world is going on? I'm starting back here. School, there's actually a school right over there and it just got out. So it's real busy around here right now. But here we go. Let's see if we can uh, improve our luck for the day here. Because we have had zero luck today. And I don't know about this uh, side pull magnet, the double rig here. I, I don't know about it yet. What you got? We got a can lid. Can lid. Ooh. Ooh. N another black one. Nothing on it. A work. piece of wire with a spinner on it. Well, but at least Dad found something. <laughs> Come on now. Yeah, this side pull magnet. I just, I don't know if I like it. Honestly. Well, let's check her out here. I went all the way along here. Here I is, right here. And we got nothing on the side pull. See, I don't know if I like this side pull. I do not know. I'm going to come out here with you. There's got to be stuff in this thing. There has to be. What do you got? Got you a hook. First hook of the day. That feels like something there. Come on. That really feels like something. Nope, fell off. I don't think this double double rig can hold anything because when I'm dragging it, it's like this, and then when I pick it up, it turns up. And I'm finding that I'm getting on something, and when I pick it up, it's losing it. I don't know about this thing. Well, that's the only one catching anything. Look at that, that's a nice treble hook there. You're the only one catching anything. I think that, I don't know. Wow. You need to go back to your other magnet. Yeah, I, I don't think I like this. 
it keeps I've had it a few times where I've tossed it out there and this gets tangled like this yeah not a good situation I think we'll make single throwing magnets out of those. yeah I don't know if I'm big on this guy here I know with my 1100 pound like dad has I've caught a lot of stuff you guys know how much stuff I have caught with that thing I mean anything that it comes across it grabs a hold I mean I've darn near lost it a lot of times because it's so strong it just works perfectly so here I will link this double rig I'll link dad's magnet I'll link my 1150 pound magnet all down in the description below go check it out go pick you up some magnets this is really fun to do uh, it's always exciting to see what you pull up now obviously today we're really not having as much luck as we usually do to be honest with you and that's really surprising for me to say that because look at that that's lovely because we're at a really good spot I mean we're we're really hitting good spots uh, public spots like this um, just like this ought to be ought to be good but you never know you never know until you try right <laughs> These couple behind us are arguing like cats and dogs. I wonder if they're just joking with each other. No, they're not. They're not. They're definitely not joking. Okay, well, nice here we are at the next dock. Look at this guy here. We've actually been here last year one time, and let me tell you. This dock used to be old. I didn't even know they replaced it. <clears throat> Last time we were here, we actually met a uh, subscriber that was putting in his duck boat right here. So, new dock. Who knows what's down there? Oh, Jesus. Good God. In front of people and everything. Just arguing in front of people. Jesus. I don't think either one of them is better than the other. Okay, well, you guys just keep arguing over there. I'm going to throw my magnet in here. Actually, I, I, I switched up, guys. I can't use the, the uh, double rig anymore. It's just not working very well. And, you know, with this one, I'm comfortable with it. I know it works. I've caught a lot of stuff with it. I don't have to worry about it. That double rig, it just it wasn't working very well. Well, let's give her a cinderoni here. Come on now. Hook us up with something good now. We need some good finds. We really do. Well, back to the old 1150 pound magnet here. This is my baby. This Miller is my Light. this is my go-to. Do what? Miller Lite. Ooh, got us some Miller Lite drinkers, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna it is getting dark. It's going to get cold on us here, so we're trying to make up some ground, trying to find some decent stuff, because I'm telling you what, I'm not blaming it. I am not blaming it on the double rig, but I just figured the spots we were going to were going to be a lot better. Oh, look at that. I got all kinds of little stuff. What's that? A little screw of some sort. We got a spring of some sort, and then a bunch of metal. Feels like I got something there. Feels a little different. What's that? Look at that there. That's like a maybe a boat part. I don't know what that is. Maybe a boat part. Holy cow. Boy, I got something heavy here. Holy smokes. Yeah. For sure. Oh, it's a piece of metal. Look at that. Look at that. Boom! Big ol' piece of metal look at that oh, i got it oh look at that even got a gold yeah. oh that's an old school bed <laughs> here hold that what's this oh that's really old you can't even tell uh. if it's copenhagen skull what it is well that's the by far the biggest find of the day there there's the biggest one of the day not anything very exciting but uh yeah i guess Better than nothing, right? Always better than nothing. Finding something. Oh, yeah, I know, guys. I was hoping we'd have a lot more exciting stuff today. 
not bad though finally getting into some stuff we're going to uh fish uh fish the rest of this out here really give it a good search over and uh we're going to hit one more dock the sun as you can see it's getting on the dawn here it's A bunch of old metal and looks like a well I have to say that's all she wrote for this one let's go see if this last dock does us any better huh yeah I think it will I think so I think the last one was better the last time video oh yeah it seems like every video it's like the last video the last dock we get to always produces the best finds well we are at the next dock you can see we got some people camping right next to us here and here we are we've been to this one before haven't we dan yep we've been to every one of them now. yeah we've been to all these i don't know probably over a year ago but uh this one here is a smaller one but it's got good water we're gonna give her a you know what a good old cinderoni come on we found some decent stuff here last time we were here Last time I found, what are they called? Hemostats? Yeah. Hemostats? Those yeah, are like. I found that old screwdriver. Oh, yeah, you found an old screwdriver. Hemostats, I believe, are, uh, I think that's what they're called. They're like those stainless steel doctor tweezers. That feels like something. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Got me a bait. I got me a little kind of Ned rig looking unit there little weedless hook that's kind of neat not bad there we go what do you got yeah. you got you a tree bass <laughs> mine's bigger than yours <laughs> look at that oh yeah that's a big old dock screw isn't it good find that's not bad me and dad just trying to cover some area here Well, we found some little stuff here and there. You know what time it is. Old chucking time. Old chucking time. At the end of every dock, this is kind of what I what I do here. I don't record it all the time, but since we're at the end of the video, and this video has just been, I'm sorry guys, I was figuring the spots we went were going to be really good. I figured that the double rig at those good spots was just going to be epic. And you know how this goes we're all just out here searching there's no there's no for sure deal that we're gonna find a single thing so but i am happy we found what we did today didn't find a whole lot i'll tell you that right now one last check oh and i do have something on there what is that look at that wow i got part of a clothes hanger for some reason and another old bottle cap too old to tell what it is well we just uh wrapped her up here figured i'd come close the video out right here because how much more beautiful can you get guys if any of you have tried magnet fishing believe me it's always worth it to get out there you never know what you're gonna find at the end of the day yes we want to find awesome stuff at these docks just like this don't ever get your hopes up too high to where when you don't find much, it just kind of spoils the whole, you know, magnet fishing adventure for you. Because I'll say, Dad and I, we have a pretty darn good time doing this, as a lot of you can see. You guys have been here for a long time. And additional note here, if you're new to the channel or old and you haven't hit that notification button right down there, you know the little bell dilly? hit it it'll notify you when i upload so you won't miss any of my videos <laughs> i mean if you want to watch another one i mean after this one <laughs> i don't know but thank you all for being here subscribe if you haven't we will see you on the next one Peace.